all right what is going on ladies and gentlemen oh wait hold on this is not the screen that i want to be on right now uh, but what is going on ladies and gentlemen this is your boy brent bryson here giving you guys another video here and as requested a lot of people has been wanting to see my PUBG or like you know my astro mix amp uh 2019 uh, you know settings that i use for you know PUBG and everything that i play so that without further ado that's exactly what i'm gonna um show you guys right now and so here we go without further ado let's do this so um i believe let me see here i believe the balance one um i didn't change the name but the balance one was the one that i've been using um, from cliffy's video if you guys haven't seen cliffy's video before uh go ahead and check it out on his channel this one is still money but then for some reason i felt like everything felt a little bit too dull in a way if that makes any sense like the the noise felt a little too dull but here is cliffy's one um the one that i got from him for the astro uh, a40 2019 tr mix amp edition uh you look at these numbers so two on the left negative three four three five and if you go to the advanced settings um here are the numbers in the bottom and everything go ahead and just pause it and then and uh, what is that called? And go ahead and just copy it down. This is what majority of our community is using right now. Whoever has a mix amp. Um, I still stand by it. You know, the one from Cliffy's uh, chat is the, the one from Cliffy's settings from his last video is still money. But then for some reason, I wasn't able to hear all that much. So the one that I have been using right now is the one that's called PUBG. Honestly, I don't remember where I found this. Um, I'm not going to take any credit for these settings, but then I can't remember where I found uh, these type of settings. Um, I know somewhere on YouTube, but since it's been like over a year since I've, you know, changed it or like, you know, over eight months since I changed it, I can't honestly remember. So I'm sorry, whoever is watching this, I can't take credit for this. I, I didn't find it myself, but um, here it is in any way. So it's going to be negative seven on the left, negative two, negative one, seven and one. And if you go to the advanced settings, here it is, 130 hertz, 782 hertz, 1867 hertz, 4618 hertz, and 1003 or 13,835 hertz from left to right. And then again, here's the ratio for the bandwidth. So that's basically my my settings for what I use for my Astro A40s to make the crispest for me, in my opinion noise for you know PUBG and call of duty pretty much um if you guys are interested in what else i use because i do use my you know my uh, my big sam for my elgato my microphone level is you know i use my external mics my share sm7b to talk to party chat now but uh, what i used to do was i used to put it on streaming and then my usb mic level is at 100. i don't i didn't like the side tone because there was a little echo when i was using my elgato so I put the side tone all the way down. But since I use my Shure SM7B to talk to, you know, the party chat now, uh, this is really irrelevant for me. And then for the stream for port, this is money. Um, my game, uh, it sucks how you can't really see, you know, the numbers for all of this. But my game is like almost a little bit to halfway for my game audio. So this is where, what captures my, my audio for my Xbox. My chat audio was a little hair below that. So my chat, my uh, chat audio, when I was using, you know, the splitter or when I was using my mix M4 party chat, when I was using my regular Astro uh, headset was down here. Now I found that if it was a little higher than your, the, um, the voices on your teammates does over peak a lot, but then it was like somewhere around here. So go ahead and copy that if you want to. Again, I put down my microphone volume all the way down and then my aux cord. So then, Nobody hears my music when I was playing through it, when I was using the aux port as well. Um, this is not the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the mix amp part of this though. Um, now I'm gonna go to the Xbox and show you guys my settings for my Elite controller because a lot of people has been asking about that too. So without further ado, it's transition time. I'll be right back. All right, we are here on my Xbox Series 2 uh, controller app and everything. So let's <coughs> oh, shit. cut this cut this part off. Oh my god.
All right, anyway, now we are here for my Xbox Series 2 Elite controller settings and everything. Again, I only do use two paddles, which is the two top paddles. Um, so these two are the same. Uh, actually, this is the one that I wanted to show you guys here. So let's go ahead and edit here real quick. Oh my God, how the hell do I do this? I haven't been on this for a long time. So slot two is what I usually use. Actually, no, slot one is the one I usually use. Forgive me about that. So when we go to the edit button now, the mapping, all right, let's go to left and right. So my left and right analog stick is on uh, default. I don't like any changes on what my analog stick does here. So then they're both on default. Um, I know a lot of people like using like, you know, the surf sensitivity to smooth. So then you could, you know, smoothly aim down sight or like move your right analog stick. But I got so used to default, so I didn't really s touch anything for my right analog sticks. This is where the money is. My left and right trigger, you know, dead zone is zero to one. So like even just the slightest pull, especially because I have the hair triggers up. It's very, very sensitive. As you can see, I'm tapping my RT button. And it's almost responsive. If we had this like, you know, oh. If you had this like, you know, zero to 100, like what it was before, you know, it has, there has like that slight delay on, um, you know, the trigger. So then what I, I like to put mine at zero to one, not a lot of people like it this sensitive. I know wiki, another fellow streamer of our, uh, of in Twitch for PUBG he puts his to zero to 20. So he does have a little leeway on like, you know, tapping it. So if he doesn't, if he didn't mean to tap it all the way down. It doesn't activate as fast, but then I do like mine to zero to one because I don't play any racing game or anything like that. And you know your boy here, well, you know your boy here likes his vibration. So then I do have my vibration all the way up just for my left and my right main. The triggers, it felt weird when they had the vibrations on the triggers, so I didn't really put it on for the trigger part. But you know, the left and the right main side, that's where my, tr <laughs> that's where it vibrates. You know what I'm saying? Um, I did put the, br oh my God, what the hell am I doing? I did put the brightness all the way to the dimmest it can for the Xbox LED screen or the Xbox logo, just because, you know, you don't really need a bright Xbox button pretty much. Um, so yeah, mine is just very dim. Uh, you know, it, it probably helps with the battery life as well. I always have mine, you know, plugged in just in case, cause I don't always charge it after every session of streaming or playing. And then my left and right analog stick or my paddles again is the LB button on my left and the A button on my right. The A just to jump, LB just to hold my breath. I don't use the B or the X paddles that is mapped around here, but you, you know, you get the drift. I only use two paddles. But anyway, that is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed my Astro A40s uh, mix amp settings. I hope you guys enjoy my, like my settings for my controller too, for my Elite. Um, if you guys do like this video, hit that like button, subscribe if you're new around here, and might as well hit that notification bell. It is greatly appreciated. And again, as always, stay beautiful, and goodbye for now. Slug Nation out. Bye-bye.